Hello everyone, my name is Berta and welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, you will probably notice that my channel has a different name. I changed it because the previous name, Berta Games, was only temporary in the first place. Because I wanted to start making videos, but I couldn't come up with a nice name and I was just, you know, not making the videos that I wanted to make because I didn't have a name, so I was just like, okay, well... Let's just call it Berta Games and start making videos, because that's what I wanted to do. And now I thought of something that I like and I think is nice. Uh, so yeah, now my channel name is Simmingbird. Yeah, so this video, as the title says, is my first serious attempt at building. I am not a builder in the slightest. Um, yeah, I wanted to try it out. First of all, because I want to learn how to build. Second, I want to see what I can come up with. So, I decided to build in Sulani. I took inspiration from the volunteer house that I was at in Africa. So, I will also have built some things and then change them back later because I decided to make it a family home in the end. But, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Uh, roofing, uh, I'm doing the roof here. Uh, I hate roofing, all right? I have no idea how to do good roofs. And you will see me struggle throughout the whole video trying to make a good roof. Spoiler alert, I think I failed. <laughs> so yeah, uh, what, I w what I'm doing here is I'm trying to find out a layout that I like. Same with roofing, layouts, uh, what do you call it, floor plans. I'm terrible. I never know what to do. I just do something and I hope it looks good and usually it doesn't. So, <laughs> that's that. Um, I'm trying to make a sunroom. I think it's what you call a sunroom in English, but I'm not sure. But I really wanted that. I wanted it to be open and very cozy and colorful bit bohemian kind of look and atmosphere so that's what i was going for i decided to choose the color blue throughout the whole build and you know have that color come back in multiple aspects to just bring everything together a bit more okay i'm, I'm sounding like i had a plan I, I didn't have a plan i just started it but yeah that's what i'm doing also, this is my very first seriously long voiceover and I'm very nervous about doing this. I procrastinated a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I hope this is this voiceover is okay because I've never done it. I've never done a voiceover for a build either because I don't build. Uh, so yeah, this is, I mean, I have to talk for 20 minutes. I'm not a talker, I'm a listener. So talking for 20 minutes straight is hard, okay? It's seriously hard. I don't know really what to talk about. I'm not going to talk about the build all the time. I think that's a bit boring. So, update. I came back from Budapest two days ago. I was in the city for, I think, four days. And I went to the Ziket festival for one day. With my boyfriend, by the way. And that's why there wasn't a video last week. And, you know, with my chaotic and scattered brain, I didn't make a video, didn't pre-record a video for the time that I was away. So yeah, that's why there's no video. But I'm doing this video, so it's all fine. Anyway, I came back two days ago and I am so tired. I am so super tired because the festival, look, I am not a city person. I am more like the nature hiking kind of person. I prefer that so, I, I just, that's so much better in my opinion. It's, it's, it relaxes me and cities stress me out. But my boyfriend really wanted to show me the city. So I came with him. So we just explored the city for four days and I was so tired, so tired. It was so beautiful, but very tiring. And then the last day, 
I went to Siget, the festival, and it's huge. It's a huge festival, and everything's so loud. I think, you know, I went to see Ed Sheeran, and he was really good, by the way. Um, so I saw Ed Sheeran, and then I wanted to sleep. I knew I wouldn't be able to sleep, but I knew I didn't know it was going to be this terrible, because I seriously didn't sleep until I think 4 a.m. I guess, uh, because of all the loud music and everything and the people and stuff, and then at uh, I fell asleep at around 4 a.m. Then about like 5:30. I woke up and I... 5.30? Well, I, I woke up later because I was cold and then I went back to sleep again and then uh, one hour later I had to wake up to catch my flight. So did I sleep? No, I think at most I slept for two hours and I was already tired from the city and then I had two hours of sleep. So... I'm tired. <laughs> I am complaining. I am so sorry. Instead of complaining, I will now complain <laughs> more about how bad I am at roofing. So I tried this roofing. I changed it later because I don't I didn't like it. I don't like it. And I don't like the new thing that I did either. Oh, by the way, you'll see this uh bathroom that I didn't do on screen. Uh, I deleted that part because, as I said, I first, I, I, oh my gosh, I based it, I, I got inspiration from uh, the volunteer house, so that would mean that there were multiple showers with a bit of privacy, if that makes sense. I made it for, like, a lot of people that don't really know each other, but... I changed that in the end. It's going to be a family home. So I changed up the bathroom later. So that's why I decided to just cut this bit out. Because it's going to be changed later anyway. So you'll see that. Um, I did try and make it like a very cozy place. Where people could hang out and have people over. There's this llama game table that I never used. I mean I've never used it in... Uh, a house. I've never placed it myself. But I love it and I hope that it, you know, it looks alright in the house. Because I'm just winging it, to be honest. So yeah, this is going to be the parents' room. Um, I wanted everything to be like Solani themed, at least most of it. So I got the Solani wallpaper and I put in like Solani what do you call it, island living decorations and stuff. Um, yeah, what can I say? I'm just winging it. I have, I had and have no idea what I'm doing. So, yeah. If there are any builders watching this video right now, please tell me what I can do better. Because I am happy with the interior that I did but not with the exterior if that makes sense I hate the floor plan I hate the shape I hate the roofing especially so if you can give me tips or recommend me good videos that share tips that would be really great so I am starting the kids room I imagined this kids room that I'm working on right now that it would be for two boys of the same age. So uh, there are two beds. There are some toys. I imagine them being kids, like not teens, but kids. I gave them this uh, chest. It's not. Is it a, a toy box? Maybe it is. I thought it wasn't. So I was going to say I gave him this box that is probably not a toy box. But looks like one, so I added anyways. But maybe it actually is a toy box. That would be nice. Um, I added in a uh, desk so they can do their homework and stuff like that. The other room with the blue wallpaper, which is not blue anymore right now. <laughs> I didn't really know what to do with it. I just I ended up making it for a girl, also a child, 
probably. It could be for a teen, but it's a bit childish for a teen, I think. So um, it's for a kid, for a girl, and it's all very pink. And that's not because I think girls should have pink stuff, because personally I, I don't like the color pink. But it just I thought it looked nice, you know, the, the pink was fun and colorful in the house, so I ended up making it pink. By the way, this is uh, a home of a very nature-loving family. I feel like they love being outside and the kids grow up like in nature and learning how to love nature and animals and stuff. So that's the kind of family that I imagine living here. I know it's completely off topic, but in September I start my masters and I'm so nervous. I have to do everything still, like, uh, I enrolled, but I have to do the, um, subject enrollment thingy. I have to fill in a survey or something, and I have to get my books, and I have to mentally prepare myself, because that's the most important thing in my case, uh, and I don't think I am ready. But knowing myself, I think I am never going to be ready. So yeah, I'm gonna do child and adolescent psychology. I don't know if I've said it before, maybe I have. But I'm nervous and excited and I am also hoping that I can combine the study, studying and, you know, making Sims videos because I really want to go through with this video making, but I know myself, I get stressed very easily and I'm the worst at planning. So I hope it's gonna work out. But yeah, I'm nervous about that. Okay, I made a pool. And yeah, no comment. I was afraid while making this house that I like chose a lot that was too big because at the beginning, I didn't know how to fill all the space. And I thought by myself, maybe I should have chosen a smaller lot and, you know, made a small house and ease into the building. But no, instead I chose one of, a, like, one of the biggest lots and built a big house with a big garden. So yeah, that's what I did. Here I'm making, like, a uh, fire pit secret hideaway place not that it's secret but it's very covered up is that i i don't really know what i'm trying to say actually but very private cozy fireplace place <laughs> um so yeah that's what i went for um i imagine the kids when they grow up to have friends over and you know roast marshmallows and sing songs by the fire play some music i would love that i make the pool bigger and that's not because i thought they should have a big pool because i wanted to give them a small pool in the beginning but as i said i didn't know what to do with all the space so i decided to just make the pool bigger um and i decided to make like a what, what do you call it a shack I don't know what you call that little building kind of thing. Please help me. Maybe the word is so easy, but I just can't find it because I am so tired. But um, yeah, I wanted to make uh, a shack and I wanted to give it a roof, obviously. But I don't know what happened if it was a glitch in my game, if I did something stupid or I don't know whatever happened, but I couldn't put a roof on it. I literally couldn't put a roof on it. When I wanted to make a roof, it would just build it on the on the floor, like, yeah. It was so frustrating. It took me so long and so many tries to finally get a roof on that. And I still didn't know, I uh, still don't know what the problem is or how I managed to finally get a roof on there. And why it didn't work in the first place. So that was so frustrating. If anyone can tell me what I'm doing wrong. 
or what is happening when you try to roof, like put on a roof, and it just builds it on the floor. There was literally no way I could get it on the shack, on the ceiling. And yes, I did have a ceiling. It wasn't like there was no ceiling to put the roof on. There was a ceiling. I tried everything and I couldn't figure it out. Anyway, in the end, uh, it, it worked out, so no problem there. But, oh, I just realized I put in hampers, but no washing machine. Well done, Berta. <coughs> Forgive me, it's a beginner's mistake. <clears throat> yeah, so no washing machine, I just realized. So you can either, if you want to play in this house, you can either take the hampers out or add a washing machine somewhere. Maybe in the shack. I think the shack would be a nice place to put the, the washing machine. But, well, maybe not. Here I decided to make like an outdoor eating area. There's a bar as well. Um, I put some tables close together, hoping it would look like a big table outside. And I'm just adding lights. Uh, inside and outside because I wanted it to look cozy and as I said a bit bohemian hippie kind of thing does that make sense so yeah there are lights everywhere to make it look cozy and personally I really like that aspect of this house um, it's not a good house but I like the light <laughs> I like the lights so yeah um, added some things on the table to make it look like someone actually lived there um, what else can I say in this voiceover? I find it very hard to do this voiceover. But I notice I am getting to the end. So I'm going to stop right here. Uh, please let me know what you think of this build. And please like be nice. But also give me criticism. Because I want to learn. And I want to know what I'm doing wrong. And what I'm doing right. So if you have any tips... Or criticism please let me know but be nice all right don't completely roast my very first building ever because I would be sad <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever gonna build again I don't know if it's my thing but I might I might but yeah so uh, I said I was gonna stop but I still have some time left anyhow the the garden. I was trying to fill in the space in the garden. Did I make? No, I didn't make uh, the pond yet. I made a pond and uh, in the video I was using CC stones, like rocks, to put around the pond. I changed them up later into non-CC things. Uh, rocks? Yeah, <laughs> that's the word. I changed it up to non-CC rocks. But I did that off screen so you won't be able to see it. But don't worry, this build is completely CC free. So, yeah. Look, I'm trying to just fill the space with a pond. I made a little meditation nook in on the right corner. You can see it. There's a meditation uh, seating thing. And a little bench. And a nice incense candle thingy. So people can meditate there and enjoy nature. Anyhow, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. If you want to see more build videos, please let me know. And let me know what kind of builds you want to see from me. Because I don't know what to do. So yeah, thanks again for watching. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!